Hey kids, this is Bhavna, your master teacher of physics at grade 9 and then Vedanto English channel and today I'm going to make sure that one of your query about acceleration due to gravity will get resolved forever. So acceleration due to gravity, if I tell you what is this, this is the acceleration, bacha party, let me just get small for you guys. So just to understand this topic, when I talk about acceleration due to gravity, it is the acceleration which a body experiences when it is in free fall, right? So when I talk, when a body is falling only and only under the action of force of gravity, then the acceleration acting on the body is the acceleration due to gravity, right? Now, generally, there is always a doubt that whether to take the sign of positive or negative. Now to resolve this question, let's take a very simple scenario. When we take about when we talk about the sine of G, we generally take convention. Now, what is sine convention here as we talk right now? Sine convention is a convenient way of taking the value of G. Generally, as we take the sine convention for any x, y coordinate, that is the Cartesian coordinate. My positive x, I know it is in the horizontal negative as the other side of the origin. My positive y and positive negative y is taken as on the vertical above and below the origin. Now, this is the sign convention we know. Now, talking about in general cases, we take a body when it's dropped from a height, it is coming downward, that is towards the negative y sign and as the force of gravity is also downward, we take that when a body is dropped from a height, the g should be what? The g should be taken as positive, right? Now, this is what I am talking about convention. On the other hand, if a body is thrown upward, right? We take it very conveniently as something going up is going in the opposite direction of the force of gravity. That means my G should be taken negative. But all these signs are arbitrary. That means it depends on where I choose to put my Cartesian coordinate. And the magical thing out there is no change will be there in the answer. Now, if I say that if I am dropping a body and I put my Cartesian coordinate instead of on the ground on the building itself. So, the body being dropped and the height, the G and H will have the same sign. Hence, the sign of my final answer will not be different. So, talking about the sign, it definitely, def definitely depends on where you put your Cartesian coordinate and the magical point is your answer will not be wrong if you take all the signs of all the other physical quantities such as distance, speed and time in the right manner, your answer will be same. By sign convention, if you want to make your life easy and convenient to follow one suit, you can take when a body is dropped from a height, it is in the same direction as the force of gravity, G is positive, while when a body is thrown upward, the G is taken to be negative. I hope this resolves your doubt. Thank you very much. And yes, if you think that it resolved your doubt, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. There is one more very, very cool thing. If you guys just want that your smiley always keep up smiley and your learning never stops with fun, you can join Vedantu by just using my code BA Pro. That is going to get you some cool discount over the subscription. So do not miss on this. Chaldi se jao. Quickly subscribe to the channel. And if you want to buy the subscription, use the code BAPRO. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.